what's bringing you to the U to the U.S.? Well, actually, I have been here. I've been I've been here uh, you, quite sorry. often. <laughs> But uh, obviously for the well, for the last 15 months, nobody really traveled much, no. I guess. No. And uh, before that, I, was, yeah, I live in Hong Kong okay. and I had two small kids. So traveling was, uh, was a bit difficult. Uh, Do you miss Denmark? I miss Denmark, of course. Oh, you travel there better. often? I, I, I use, again, not for the last 15, 15 months, months but, okay. but yes, before that I used to go at least three or four times a year. Yeah. I know your passion is actually, uh, your, your passion, big passion is since, I, I believe since you were a competitor and, I, and I, I do remember that you love to teach kids, you love to teach youth. Amateurs, do you still? Yes, I mean, absolutely. And you have a program, I, right? Yeah. It, well, in Hong Kong, we, we developed. A, actually, I I am saying we, but mainly it was my wife. We do develop the program to to really get kids into dancing. So we are we have a program called Ball and Bees, and it starts from walking. Uh, it's walking till eight years old. Oh, wow. So we don't necessarily teach a ballroom from, from walking. So how do we I teach? cannot imagine Klaus Kongsdal, who've been in the top of the world, in Latin. Teaching a kid to walk, are you like you? You do not do that. And I have to be honest, I don't really do so much on the team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But, so but we, now we're know, getting. We build a we build a curriculum really to teach kids. You know, we, before you can teach anybody a waltz, yes. they need to know what's a heel and a toe, and what's down and up, and what's forward and back. And, and again, that's what we do I'm with sorry, the kids. It's, it's so weird to hear Klaus Kongsdal talking about waltz and heel leads. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, this is just like boom. <laughs> well, you know, dancing is dancing, right? So. True, but still. I, uh, I, I, you know, it's been quite liberating in the sense that, you know, normally I work with, uh, well, with a whole range of dancing, but also with some very good couples where everything is on the smallest little detail. But, you know, to take uh, somebody who's just learned to walk yeah. and start, and start uh, they discover what's their heel and they can walk on their heel or they can walk on their toes. Yeah. It's, it's quite a liberating uh, yeah. feeling. Okay. It's, pretty, it's, it's pretty interesting. Actually, always... Really curious. The man with your with your experience. If you would go back in time to the beginning of your career, or even when you were already in the finals, what would you say to yourself? Uh, I would have said probably honestly to 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 take all the information that I was getting from my fantastic teachers, but also uh, listen a little bit more to myself. There were times when I didn't do something that I really wanted to do because I was a bit I was a bit worried how it would affect like, me. In terms like of what? Because it oh, felt you know, you've always like, been yourself. Oh, I, well, let's say there was a certain teacher that I really would like to have lessons with. Yeah. But uh, because uh, I, I was having lessons with a, another teacher, they didn't really get along very well. I see. In the end, I didn't do it because I thought, oh, well, how is this okay. going to feel? Or I had a, I, that same teacher was also teaching my my biggest competitor, and, and so so in, in terms of that, actually seeking out the information that I really wanted, and and and, and going for that, I, I really I probably would wish for that. But actually, I have very little uh, regrets about about how how I. I mean, you had a very unique style. I mean, I do I do remember that. Vividly, and I had an honor not not once to dance with you on the same floor. And uh, in terms of developing the style, like how did you do that? Did you because you ev everybody in the final were really really different? Yes. Did you work on your style specifically, or how did it work? I, yeah, absolutely. I, I you know I, there's another thing I feel extremely happy and honored that I shared the floor with some amazing dancers. And when I watched them dance, I thought, wow, they are really good. So it was not a matter of where I disliked my competitors or I thought that they weren't good. I actually thought they were fantastic dancers, you know? We had, a, we had some amazing. great battles. And you know, the, the point was that I wasn't trying to do what they were doing. I was trying to do what I was doing. And yet it was up to the judges to make a decision. So in a way, you, you come on the floor and they go, oh, that was, they were great in this cha-cha. And now I'm doing another cha-cha, which is not the same. And I always thought that was it. And it was that exactly how you're saying. It was very, very, very different. And that's what I love. And to be honest with you, I think that uh, in terms of our style, uh, both of us had, had this passion for partnering and for dancing together and making, making that the, the central part of what we I did. And, uh, and honestly, that happened right from the, the trial with Victoria. From the first time I, I touched her hand, it was like I could see the whole career. So. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy Emerald Ball, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing Klaus Konstel right here with us.